Hi mga kapalaboy, are you planning to build your own dream house or an extension or renovation? O kaya naman mag-landscape ng inyong mga garden? O kaya naman ang furnitures or fixtures ng inyong office or bahay or room? Stay tuned guys as I will be sharing to you kung ano tong um, website wherein you can be able to create your own 3D effect or 3D designs for free. So before that guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and hit the notification bell para updated ka sa aking mga coming videos. So yun nga mga kapalaboy, in today's video, I, uh, I will be sharing to you kung anong tong website wherein you can create your own um, 3D designs for free. So ano tong website na ito? It's SketchUp. So tara guys, samahan nyo ako at punta tayo sa ating laptop. So let's begin. From your Google search engine, just type SketchUp. And then select SketchUp for web. After that, click Start Modeling. So if you're first time and you don't have any um, account, just sign in with your Google or just create. So I have right now. So guys, the advantage of this um, SketchUp um, na enhance and na nabibigyan ng mga details yung mga projects na gusto nyo i-present sa family nyo or sa partner ninyo or sa client, client ninyo. So right now, as you can see, I have some projects ngayon, per personal and some friends na, rin, um, na ginawa. So, ang una natin gawin, just create new. From here, so as you can see, you can select feet, inches, millimeters, or meter. So, bahala na lang kayo kung anong gusto nyo ano. So, guys, dun sa mga um, merong mga actual size na kanila mga projects. So, this is just only a guide. So, it depends to you. You can delete it or um, just leave it. As long as you have your actual size naman guys, so it's okay, it's fine. Um, on your left side, you will see the tools, different type of tools na gagamitin natin, basic tools. And then, on your right is some, uh, dyan natin makikita yung mga materials na dapat, uh, yung mga gagamitin natin aside sa mga tools. Of course, more, the important tool I think that you need to, in, to check it out is this um orbit when you click it and uh, hold makikita nyo 360 rotate pwede and also the pan left or right up and down yeah but then kung gumagamit ka ng mouse much easier so you don't need to select this uh, icons here Kasi kiklik and eh, kiklik mo lang and hold lang din siya. So, let's begin. So, to start with, um, we need to click this rectangle shape. At gagawa tayo ng isang box or room for our project. So, let's click and drag. You can do, you can do it manually guys. Or if you have already your size, so as, as what I've mentioned earlier, um, pag drag ninyo, 
laptop, sorry. Click and drag. Just type the exact um, measurements that you have right now. So let's say right now, eh, ano lang tayo? 5 meter by 5 meter. So 5m, 5m. Uh, just be guided guys. Earlier, sinet up natin ang ating um, sketchup. Dinefault natin ang size is meter. So, for example, na hindi nyo na convert or you don't have any idea how to convert the the measurement na meron kayo, just simply type the unit. For example, if alam mo lang is millimeter, just type mm. For example, 5 mm or 16 mm. So, automatically, i-change na lang ng computer, or i-change na lang ng program into meters yung size na yun. So, after that, of course, we need, we have already the floor, sorry, we have already the floor or yung base natin. So, we need to have um, wall. So, there's two ways to have the wall do be done. Um, pwede natin gamitin yung manual lining, yung pagda-tape mesh, paggagamit ng tape measure. Click lang natin, and then drag lang natin towards doon. And just type, for example, yung bricks natin is nasa 16 cm. Nasa 16 cm. Type lang natin cm. As what I told you earlier, type lang natin yung 6 cm kasi nga hindi natin alam kung nga sa, sa meter. So just press enter same as the other edge cm and the odd in the another side and the other side and here so again we need to select the rectangle simply just simply click it and uh, follow the the lines that we created broken lines that we created yeah after this um nakikita niyo yung edge niya hindi siya smooth or meron siyang broken um kasi once na inano natin siya ipinush natin pa akyat may iiwan ito so how to remove this just simply click the eraser tool then click nyo lang yung mga side again guys this is only one way um, how to build your wall or any other objects na may border so after we remove the excess so just click the push and pull icon and put nyo lang yung sa object na gusto nyo i-elevate so just click it and drag it upward so kung meron kayo ulit height so kung meron kayong measurement ng height ninyo guys just type it again so ngayon is um estimate lang tayo so yeah since i have already the actual human height na nandito ngayon eh diyan na tayo magfo-follow now we need we have already now the floor and then the wall we need a door so how to do that just simply again click the rectangle and uh, click and form lang natin siya if iporma lang natin siya. Ay, oops, sorry. Okay. Porma lang natin. Let's duplicate this um, box or rectangle. Just click and then click natin ulit yung move. After that, from end point, select natin yung end point. Hold lang natin yung pagkakaklik. Then, click din natin yung control 
shift then i-jog lang natin i-jog so we have already the duplicated door now we need to push it back or i-remove natin ito para maging visible yung inner inner portion natin ng ating room so just go to the push and pull icon again then click lang natin ulit yung object then push it forward hold it until this on face appears once na nag appear na siya just release it so now nag pass through na ang ating or na remove na yung ating object or yung door frame natin now from the door itself so kailangan natin i ligyan na ng thickness ang door itself so just click the push and pull again then yeah now after ah, guys make sure na ginugroup ninyo ang isang object na ginagawa ginagawa ninyo especially for example yung minimove ninyo like this one kasi pag hindi natin siya i-ginroop at naklik lang natin yung one side and then minove natin yung sinelect nyo lang areas yun lang yung mamove may iwan yung the rest of the yung par, ibang part ng um, object ninyo so now we need to select and right click and make group so let's make as one lang siya kayo. So we need to have an accent for this door. Like for example, mukhang nakabukas or nakabukas lang siya. Simply select this um, rotate. Then go to your um, end point. Make sure nakahiga siya para ma-rotate natin pa 360 pa ikot. So click and then click again. So, dahan-dahan natin i-move forward or backward as you desire. No problem. Then, after that, click nyo lang ag ulit. Now, we need to move it back dun sa door frame. Yeah. Ayun. Meron na tayong door, wall, and the floor. Now, of course, um, the advantage of this SketchUp, guys, this online tool or this website nila, is that may pre-downloaded um, fixtures and uh, tiles or materials na available. So, you don't need to create your own. But then, kung meron nga kayong mga exact... Um, furniture's designs though kailangan nyo talaga siyang manually create so it's up to you guys but as of the moment we have basic information for you so so guys as of the moment all our so basic lang muna ating eh, information binibigay now we will do the designs for this so now we need to put some tiles or decorations sa ating um, room. So, uh, on your right side, um, select lang natin yung materials. Here, you will see yung different type of um, materials na available na pre-downloaded sa kanilang website. So, limited lang yung mga designs, but it will help na rin para dun sa mga designs lang na basic para lang makita natin kung ano yung itsura niya. So, right now, lagyan lang natin. Click lang natin siya and then click lang din dun sa area na ipipaste natin. So, yung wall natin, papalitan natin siya ng white or medyo grayish. So, just click, click, and click. Medyo hindi siya visible guys kasi nga naka-angle siya. Pero kung ibang mga kulay, for example, ito, blue, makikita nyo siya. Okay. Now, after that, if you want to have the furnitures, mag-add 
tayo ng mga fixtures or furnitures sa room natin. Um, we can download yung mga gagamitin natin through their 3D warehouse from this tool. Click nyo lang siya. And type nyo lang kung ano yung idadagdag ninyo o ilalagay ninyo. Let's say the bed. Okay, now marami designs right now. Okay, let's use this one for example. Then just download it. There we go. So, position lang natin siya. There we go. After that, pwede tayo maglagay ng painting. So, select niya ulit tayo ng 3D, sa 3D warehouse. Then, wall painting. Let's set na lang. download it again. So, yun nga guys. Maganda kasi nga um, may mga available na mga fixtures o furnitures na na makikita dito. No? Yun nga lang. Some of it, yun nga hindi siya tuma sa ating um, project. So, kailangan talaga natin siyang manual na ilagay. Ayan. Oops, maliit siya. So, I think Ayun pala guys, kadalasan ang, ang mga information or ang mga item na dinadownload natin, ano na siya the actual size na So kung halimbawa gusto natin ipalakihin, just simply click yung scale Then click and drag nyo lang Okay Yan If you want to add more furnitures on for your rooms or dun sa mga projects na mga din develop ninyo, you can use the 3D warehouse um, tool para makapag-develop or makapag-enhance pa kayo ng inyong mga projects. After you finish the project, guys, just simply click the save para ma-save natin siya sa either sa computer ninyo or sa web mismo or dun sa SketchUp project. So just click SketchUp, then yeah, sample. And press. Now, as you can see, it's saving. So that's it for today's video, mga kapalaboy. So don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. And if you're not yet a subscriber, hit the subscribe button down below. Pati na rin tiny bell button para updated ka sa aking mga future videos. Once again, this is your trouble and home buddy, Bri Palaboy, and thank you for watching. Bi Palaboy Vlog!